Welcome to Primary Scene. I'm Alice Alexander, and welcome to day four, where we have everything from Western cannibal savages to performance enhancing drugs here at the BFI London Film Festival, where there's something for everybody's taste in film. <laughs> so you took a bit of a break between your last three films. What was it that made you come back to directing and writing? The reason that I stopped making films for 17 years was the fact that the film I made that 17 years back was very bad, you know, and I thought that I need to take a break to somehow uh, renew myself as an artist, you know. And uh, I, I started painting and I, and I made a kind of a career as a painter. Quite recently I was given the, the, the honor to be the Doctor Honoris Causa of Academy of Art, you know, so I am now a professional painter <laughs> as well. So I renew myself as a painter. I really, I, I, I got the success. I, I was very honest with my work. So I was ready to come back for filming. Okay, congratulations and welcome back. Um, what was it, I guess, uh, that inspired you um, to take on this film and just direct it? Uh, well, I keep uh, telling, th which is the truth, you know, that uh, inspired me my uh, initial idea about the finale. You know, I got some kind of vision that I could, some film I could end this way. So then I had to work backwards, you know, to find the characters who would participate in that, in that very end. Um, and what was it, I guess, that ties these characters together? Um, and what was it that you wanted to collectively portray? To, to collectively what? To, um, what did you want to collectively portray about these characters that ties them all together? Well, there are people from different, different backgrounds, from different uh, social classes, you know, so pro probably fr different age, different, uh, different uh, wealth, uh, there are really a palette of char characters, so I believe that the people in the audience will find possible to identify with one or some characters, or at least, you know, uh, to, to find themselves some connection, because within 11 minutes, the, the whole action takes 11 minutes, so we don't see the character a second longer than 11 minutes. It's difficult to tell s much about the character, so it's only uh, the impressionistic image, which I hope will will find a way to the audience. Was it difficult to time everything correctly so that? It yeah, that was one of the most difficult tasks. We have to choreograph with the mathematical pr pr precision. So we had a schedule that at, uh, at 17.04 and 25 seconds, this character is here, the other is there. You know, this kind of <laughs> manipulation. Okay, and um, I guess what was the message of the film that you wanted to portray? <clears throat> well, it tells something about our, 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 our pr present time in the, in the incredible uh, <clears throat> noise of the of the contemporary w world, you know, uh, we don't have time to think, to realize that the, the next step may be our last step. So, so it is a kind of memento mori, but done in a very light way, you know, there are, there, there are plenty of, uh, is a humor in it and quite light hands, you know, so the, com the end comes unexpectedly and I hope uh, satisfying.